Recently, while visiting the Provo City Center Temple, I admired a painting entitled First Vision from Afar. The painting depicts the light and power from heaven as the father and son visited the young Joseph Smith. While not making a comparison with the very sacred event that ushered in the Restoration, I can imagine a similar visual that would reflect the light and spiritual power of God descending upon this general conference and, in turn, that power and light moving across the world. I give you my witness that Jesus is the Christ, that he guides the affairs of this sacred work, and that General Conference is one of the very important times he gives direction to his church and to us personally. When and how does the inspiration for General Conference talks come? With no topics assigned, we see heaven beautifully coordinating the subjects and themes of eternal truth each and every conference. The Lord wants no pretense diminishing His voice to His saints. I promise you that as you prepare your spirit and come with the anticipation that you will hear the voice of the Lord, thoughts and feelings will come into your mind that are customized especially for you. You have already felt them in this conference, or you will as you study the messages in the weeks ahead. President Monson has said, take time to read the conference messages. Ponder them. I have found that I gain even more from these inspired sermons when I study them in greater depth. The teachings of General Conference are the considerations the Lord would have before us now and in the months ahead. Often His voice directs us to change something in our lives. Often His voice directs us to change something in our lives. He invites us to repent. He invites us to follow Him. There is a treasure chest of heavenly direction awaiting your discovery in the messages of General Conference. The test for each of us is how we respond to what we hear, what we read, and what we feel.